Hello everybody and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be talking about a rather broad topic. We're going to be talking about how to get stronger in Mabinogi. Mabinogi has a rather unique system for character growth. Rather than just leveling up or obtaining new gear, your character's primary means of getting stronger is via ranking skills to obtain permanent stat increases. This creates an interesting dynamic between talents. If you want to be a better mage, you'll want more intelligence. And if you want more intelligence, you'll want to be a better musician, apothecary, and dual gunner. These talents all have skills that give permanent increases to intelligence and will passively strengthen each other. You can find a complete list of all stat bonuses given by each skill on the wiki page linked below. Additionally, the talents themselves will provide you with talent bonus stats for a level of competency. As you rank up the talent, those bonuses grow. Becoming a Grandmaster in a talent will also give you a unique bonus that will greatly benefit you as well. Aside from ranking skills, there are a few other things you can do to majorly increase your character's overall combat ability. The most obvious is increasing your current level. Keep in mind, these are temporary bonuses and can be reset upon rebirth. Humans, Elves, and Giants each have different stats they gain from leveling up. There are some charts on the wiki. So we'll talk our way through those now. Depending on what age your character is when it gains a level, it will obtain each of these stats. You can use these charts to maximize access to specific stats. Say you are a human mage and you want to have the most intelligence possible. The best options for you are to either rebirth your character to age 17 and level up immediately, or not level up at all until age 21, where you obtain one whole intelligence per level. What if you were an elf that wanted to be a ninja as their primary damage source? Ninja uses strength and will. So you'd want to do all your leveling at age 18 for the maximum gain. A giant ninja would want to choose between ages 14 and 15, depending on what they wanted more, strength or more will. Now that we've gone over the base level of bonuses, it's time to talk about talents. Each talent gives additional level up bonuses on top of the base stats we just talked about. For example, if you rebirth and select your active talent as Chain Slasher, you will gain an extra 1 dexterity and 1 luck every 4 levels. If you selected Close Combat talent, then every other level you would gain plus 1 additional strength. By combining the two effects, your character can gain a lot of your desired stats by getting as close to level 200 as you can. Of course, once you rebirth, these stats will go away until you level up again. Another major source of otherwise free power is the hidden skill Shine of Uaga. This skill gives more passive bonus stats based on a combination of current level and total level. After reaching current level 50, the skill will unlock in the hidden skill tab. As you level up, the skill will passively gain ranks every 10 levels up to level 200 when it reaches rank 1. The stat bonuses obtained from Shine of Uaka will continue to increase based on your character's total level for every 1000 levels earned. The cap on this skill is at 40,000 total levels. This is why the number 40k is tossed around a lot in the top player circles, and why it tends to be the goal for many looking to do the hardest content in the game. Between Shine, Active Talent, and level up bonuses, you should have a lot more stats at around a level 150. You'll definitely feel the difference on this one. By combining the permanent stat increase from ranking skills and the temporary bonuses we've just covered, this will account for the majority of your character's overall strength throughout 80% of the game. It's only once you've maxed these out that you'll need to look other places to truly get stronger. The second half of getting stronger has to do with gear and stacking bonuses. I'll be going over stacking bonuses in another video. Thanks for checking out this video. Hopefully you found it helpful. If you need to dive deeper into more details, please leave a comment below and remember to subscribe so you get notified of the next video I drop. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.